Hey, what's up guys? Uh, this is a re-upload of this video because there seems to be a little bit of confusion on the terminology that's used um, in my video and what Fulcher Tech has for their uh, schematic and everything. So I want to clear that up before you go into this video. Um, right here is the um, schematic I'm going to show you when this video actually starts. But um, right here is where people are getting kind of confused is um, I have it labeled as a ground, a schematic um, signal for ground, and it's. I tell you to link it to what says ground. This obviously says ground right here. Um, this is the power block on the actual uh, ramps board and everything like that, and it's labeled as ground. The thing is, it's not actually ground. Um, and I say that it's ground in the video because it's labeled like that, but it's not actually what it is. That is actually V negative from the power supply. Um, right here I have the uh, actual schematic from uh, the, or the, the Folger Tech itself. And right here is the power supply. This is the voltage negative right here. And these are the two wires that come directly from uh, the power supply. And they're labeled as negative voltage. So this is voltage negative. Um, but it's labeled as ground negative, which is not what it is. Um, I don't know why it's labeled like that, but, you know, I didn't make it. Um, but this one right here goes to these two grounds uh, that are labeled right here, which, like I said, these aren't actually grounds. These are voltage negative from the power supply. Um, in the video, I mentioned, as you see right here, the blue wire goes to ground. But that's, which is why I tell you to... Uh, put it into the ground right here, which is what I did on my printer. That's how my printer is wired. I have the blue wire from the sensor going directly to one of these grounds, grounds, quote unquote, on the uh, ramps board, the ramps board input, which is going to the voltage negative on the power supply. As far as I can tell, the only actual ground this thing circuit has is uh, the one that's coming from the uh, wall, um, the, the power cable itself that you have to wire in. This third one in from the right, that is an actual ground. If you wire the sensor directly to that, it's probably not going to work. It may damage the sensor, so don't do that. But if you do what I say in the video, which you'll see in just a second, um, you can connect it to this right here, which is labeled as ground, which is not ground. I don't know why it's labeled as ground because it's voltage negative from the power supply, which is what the power supply is labeled, even though it's labeled ground negative, which is why there's confusion. So watch my video, if you're going to connect this blue wire from the sensor, connect it to one of these black wires on the input uh, power block to the ramps board. Because that is what my, um, that's what mine is and it works. Um, again, I don't know why it's labeled ground when it's not, but hopefully that clears up a little bit more, a little bit of confusion um, for those of you who, um, are kind of confused when I say ground, but it's really not ground, and it's... I didn't make this schematic, I'm just trying to <laughs> help you guys out a little bit. So anyway, uh, let's start this episode. Hey, what's up guys? Dustin here. Uh, super quick video. Um, my printer is printing, it's gonna be kind of noisy. But someone asked me, uh, how do you hook up the inductive sensor for the COSL, the Folger Tech COSL 2020, on um, the auto bed leveling sensor, the actual sensor itself. So what I have here is I've uh, just whacked up this little uh, schematic that's a little bit easier to read than the one that Folger Tech gives you. So this right here, pretend that this is the inductive sensor right here. Um, it's not what that is in the actual picture, but um, we're just going to pretend that's what it is because it's close. Anyway, um, on this you're going to have three wires coming off of it. Um, you're going to have the black wire, uh, a brown wire, and a blue wire. Um, those three wires are, should be the only three that are coming off of the inductive sensor um, that you're going to get in the kit. Um, the blue wire is just going to go straight to ground, um, so that will go to any ground on the circuit board you want. Um, I recommend plugging it right into the um, power block um, on the ramps board. Um, so this right here um, is where you have the two 12 volt and the two grounds from the power supply. Um, you can just splice the wires right together from the power supply and just hook it right in that way. That's the way I did it. Um, so this this blue wire can just go right in here with the ground wire from the power supply and just tighten everything down. The brown wire is 12 volt, so it can go straight to the same thing, the 12 volt wire on the power block for the uh, ramps board. Now the thing that people usually get confused on is the schematic for the, um, the, the rest of the sensor. So there should be a black wire coming off of the sensor. What you first need to do is have a 15K ohm resistor, which is supplied in the kit. It should be labeled. Um, you should have that in line of the rep for the entire black uh, wire. Basically what I did 
is I went to the end of the sensor wire and just put this 15k in line with it. Um, coming off of the end of the 15k resistor on the other side of the resistor, not on the so not here where the side um, that's connected to the inductive sensor, but after the resistor, you need to put the 10k resistor um, connected to it, going over to its own wire. Um, there is a three wire um, loom, I guess, uh, that's in the actual kit. Um, that wire, it's got the same end that the end stops have because you do end up hooking this up into the same connection where the end stops are right here on the ramps board. This right here is a partial picture of the ramps board. You come off the black wire into a 15k ohm resistor um, and then you have it split off as at a 10k ohm resistor. And then you take that wiring loom that they give you. Um, it's just an unused, it's, it's just an unused three wire um, connector. It's got a uh, black, a red, and I think it's a gray or a brown or a yellow or something like that, maybe white. You don't use that. Um, and what you do is you basically hook the black up to the black with their 15K ohm resistor is right here. That's gonna be going to the top of the end stop connection, which is gonna be the fifth one in. Um, which is going to be the Z minimum. The red wire that comes on that loom is going to hook up to the other end of the 10K resistor, which is connected to all this. So just, you just have to connect it just like you see here. Um, the white wire, which is going to go to the red right here, is not used. Make sure you do not connect the black to the black part of uh, where the um, end stop connections are. There's, you should, at least on my board, it's blue, black, red, if you look from top to bottom, just like this picture right here on the ramps board for the end stop connections. Do not connect the black wire to the black um, set of pins. You will blow up your ramps board. Don't do it. The only excuse you have is if you actually physically unconnect the black and the red and swap them in the actual connector. Don't do that. Just do it as I show you right here. The black is going to go to the top blue pin, the red is going to go to the middle black pin, and the white, which is going to go to the red pin, isn't used. You can just cut that short or tape it off, whatever you want to do. The only two wires that are going to be connected um, from the sensor itself is going to be a black and a red wire that comes stems off of the black wire, just the single black wire from the end, uh, inductive sensor. And then remember, these other two are going to go to ground and uh, positive, just like this, what you see right here. Uh, hopefully this is clear enough and this will be able to, you know, it's a little bit easier to see than what um, they give you in the uh, build guide. Um, if you're wondering, the build guide, it's on page 34 of the build guide, um, where the one that they offer you, but this is, this, this should be good enough. You literally can just connect the ends of the resistors um, together just like this. You can just ball it up and solder everything so you don't get any bad connections. Um, obviously, I can't show you the actual one that I have, you know, the real life one, because one, I have it, uh, you know, soldered and heat shrunk all together. You can't see any of the wiring, and I'm not going to take it apart. It, it, it takes forever to try to take anything apart, but you literally just have to connect it just like you see right here. This is not schematic, um, you know, labeling like they do in the Fulcher Tech one. This is, this is an actual resistor. This is an actual resistor. 15K goes in line with the black and the 10K is, is split off from the 15K um, up after it. And that's as pretty as, sim as simple as I can put it. Um, I know it, it's probably still really confusing for those of you who aren't good at wiring at all, but um, I mean, this is the only like circuitry you need to be ha you need to do on this actual uh, printer itself when it comes to making a circuit, quote unquote. It, the rest is just gonna be connecting stuff. Um, so this should help you to some degree and if everything goes correctly once you plug that into like I said the fifth um, pin set on the end stop connections um, so you count the first and the third are unused the second one the fourth one and the sixth one are used those are for the uh, X Y and Z end stops um, and the fifth one is going to be used um, just like you see here, that's the one for the Z minimum. So hopefully this helps someone out. Um, if, if you have any other questions, let me know. Um, this is just a super quick video. It's probably going to be kind of whatever. Um, but hopefully this will help somebody out um, if you're having trouble hooking up the end stop. If you hook it up correctly and you put it into, uh, you hook up everything and um, 
uh, power everything on and move the print um, head all the way down to the bed, you should see the LED on the inductive sensor light up red, I believe. So that's what mine is. If you see that LED light up when the sensor is close to the bed, that means that the sensor is working correctly. Um, so anyway, I hope this video helps someone out. Uh, if, it, if you're still confused, then write in the comments and I'll try to help. If not, uh, I don't really know what else to say. This is as simple as I can make it. Circuitry is kind of hard and if you can't get it, then you're building a 3D printer. You had to expect something out of it. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching and subscribe if this helped. Uh, like, comment. I'm here for you guys if you need help. Just comment and I'll do what I can. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.